Hello, it's me, Will. What do you say when someone does something nice for you? That's right, you say thank you. You might even do something for that person to show you're thankful. In today's Bible story, Jesus helped a woman. Let's watch this video to see how the woman thanked Jesus. Jesus was at Capernaum in Galilee. It was a Sabbath day and Jesus had been teaching people in the synagogue about God. While he was in the synagogue, he had commanded an unclean spirit to leave a man, and the spirit had obeyed Jesus' command. People all over the region were talking about Jesus. They were telling others about the things Jesus taught, the way he taught with authority, and about the miraculous ways he had helped people. No one had ever met anyone like him before. After Jesus left the synagogue, he went right away to the home of Peter and his brother Andrew. Peter lived there with his wife and his wife's mother. Peter's mother-in-law was lying in bed. She was sick and suffering from a high fever. The people in the house told Jesus about her, so Jesus went to see her. Jesus touched her hand and the fever left her right away. Jesus helped Peter's mother-in-law stand up she didn't just feel a little better, she was completely better. She wasn't sick anymore because Jesus had healed her. Right away, the woman began to serve Jesus and the others there. That evening, people brought to Jesus their friends and family members, anyone who needed help. So many people came, it looked as if the whole town was standing outside the door, waiting to see Jesus. These people were sick, some of them had unclean spirits. The people had heard about Jesus and how he had healed people and drove out unclean spirits. They hoped Jesus would help them too. Jesus did help the people who came to him. He spoke a word to make the unclean spirits go away. He put hands on the people who were sick and he healed them. Jesus did these things so the words of Isaiah the prophet would come true. In the Old Testament, Isaiah had written about Jesus. He himself took our weaknesses and carried our diseases. The prophet Isaiah wrote that the promised Messiah would bear our sickness and carry our pain. Jesus fulfilled this prophecy as he healed people. Sickness exists because the world is broken by sin. One day, when Jesus returns, there will be no more sickness because Jesus dealt with sin on the cross. Jesus healed Peter's mother-in-law with just a touch. He later healed many more people of their sicknesses, and he cast out evil spirits with just a word. Just like the prophet Isaiah said, Jesus came to carry our pain and sickness for us. How can we show we're thankful to Jesus? We can serve Jesus and live for him.